Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So we are solving some examples as part of matrices determinants. Let's go ahead and try to solve this problem. What we have to prove? We have to prove that the determinant on the left hand side is equal to the determinant on the right hand side. That means by using the properties of determinants, I should be determinants. I we should be able to convert this determinant into this particular form. Okay. Now seems to be a little bit uh, tough one. Let's think about this one. We have one 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 B C C A A B B plus C C plus A A plus B and we have one 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 A B C A square B square C square. Now if you see here in the left hand side we have B plus C C plus A A plus B. But if you see on the right hand side, we don't have anything like that. We have just simply 1a a square. That means this should be eliminated when I convert from left to right. So how to do that is I see that b plus c is nothing but equal to a plus b plus c minus a. Similarly, in the second row, c plus a is nothing but equal to a plus b plus c minus b. Similarly, in the third row, a plus b is equal to a plus b plus c minus c. Now, if I do like that, what I can do is, you know by the property of determinant, you can write this square matrix now with the third column as this values into two matrices then the first matrix determinant will become zero once you take a plus b plus c is common so what i'm trying to say here let me just put it and show it to you so that it's more clear okay i will write it as one 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 the next column will remain as it is because it's untouched now here b plus c i'm writing it as a plus b plus c minus a Similarly, I am writing the second element as a plus b plus c minus b. The third one as a plus b plus c minus c. Now this is how it looks like. Are you comfortable with that? Whatever I have done. What I have done? Instead of having b plus c, c plus a, a plus b, I just made them as a plus b plus c minus a minus b minus c. Now you know by the property of determinants, I can write this matrix into two matrices, two determinants, actually properties of determinants. That's 1, 1, 1. These two columns are untouched. So they will remain as it is. Here also I will have 1, 1, 1, b, c. C A A B. Okay, right. Now what I have here, okay, let me just put this one also as plus only. Then I will have here A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C. And I have here minus A minus B minus C. We have looked into this in properties of determinants. There is a separate video on that. You can look into that. Okay. So whenever you have one column or a row elements as expressed as two numbers, so sum of or subtraction of two numbers, what you can do is you can write that into two ma two two matrices. Okay. Now how we have written it? The first two columns remain as it is. The first part that's nothing but a plus b plus c will be there in the first one as the third column and a b c will be in the third column in the second one now if i take a plus b plus c common in the first one i'll have 1 1 1 b c c a a b and 1 1 1 can i bring that minus out so i'll have 1 1 1 b c C A A B A B C. This is what I have got. Now you can see here that this value is 0. This value is 0. Why that value is 0? Because 
two columns are identical whenever two rows or two columns are identical the determinant value is zero now this is nothing but equal to now this is nothing but equal to i have only this one left out now so i'll have minus then let me see what i need i need a a square that means uh, i don't need b c c a a b term right so we'll apply the same logic what we will do we will multiply each row by a b c respectively so that i can take a b c common i should be able to get what i want so after this what i will do i will r1 is assigned r1 into a r2 r2 into b r3 r3 into c now what it will be it will be minus of r1 into a so it will be a abc a square then you will have b abc b square then you will have c abc c square now when you multiplied you should also divide so that the value is not changed now can i take this abc common the second column can i take it as common out it becomes minus of abc by abc abc 1 1 1 a square b square c square now what i need to prove is i need 1 1 1 in the first position this cancels out if i want to move from here to here the sign will change so it will become plus and it will be nothing but what we need that is 1 a a square 1 b b square and 1 c c square so the important point in this solving this problem is this how to remove this to remove that we have leveraged that this is nothing but equal to a plus b plus c minus a minus b minus c then you have divided this whole determinant into two parts and the first part becomes a zero the second part is left out with a tweaking a little bit manipulation you can prove that that's nothing but equal to whatever is needed so see you in the next video where we will do some more problems in the same variety without expanding the determinant thanks for visiting bye for now